What's going on YouTube world? Austin Lewis here coming to you guys with another YouTube video. And in this video, I'm actually going to be debunking the question you guys might have right now. And that is, is the ATM business dead? Now, obviously, as you guys saw my previous video, it actually is talking about is, ca is cash dead? And the answer to is the ATM business dead? The, the answer to that question happens to be absolutely not. Now in this video, I'm going to be covering five reasons on why the ATM business is not dead and ultimately actually where it is going. So if you guys would make sure and stay till the very end of this video and do me a favor and smash the thumbs up button on this video because it helps the YouTube algorithm share this video with more individuals. If you guys are brand new here, I just want to welcome you. Make sure and go check out some of my other videos that I have on my channel. That would be greatly appreciated. We're going to dive right into this and I'm going to share with you guys the five reasons on why the ATM business is not dead and ultimately where it's actually going. Just to give you guys an idea of how long the ATM business has actually been around, it actually has been around for over 50 years. So the questions you guys might be asking or as you guys saw in the title and the thumbnail of this, of this video is ATM business dead? And the answer to that is no. The ATMs of machines over the next 10 years are still going to be in service. They're still going to be doing transactions because a lot of you guys are saying, hey, I don't want to invest in a business that I know isn't going to be around or isn't going to be worthwhile or isn't going to actually make me money. Well, good news for those of you that are interested in getting in the business. The business is now going to be alive for another 10 years. Now, here's point number one is there are anywhere from 20 to 40% of individuals in the United States of America that are still unbanked. Now, a lot of you guys are like, Austin, what does unbanked even mean? Simply what an unbanked person means is that they just simply don't have a bank account, but yet they're still earning their pay stubs, they're still earning their checks, maybe they have a mobile online payment process, but most people just don't have a bank account, therefore they uh, just take cash transactions or they just pay cash, right? Therefore, ATMs are still gonna need to be in service. Because again, if you don't have a bank account, you might have an online portal, an online place where that person receives their paycheck, therefore they have to go to what? To receive their money. They have to go to an ATM machine. This is also referred to a mobile wallet. A, a platform, MasterCard actually opened this up, it's actually called MasterCard Cash Pickup, and that is MasterCard saw, saw the amount of individuals that don't have a bank account, anywhere from 20 to 40%, that allows them to have a mobile wallet that they can then go to an ATM and take out with that mobile wallet from an ATM machine. Number two happens to be gaming. A lot of individuals think that, you know, the casinos or, or the, the bingo machines and different places like that, do you guys really realize that the amount of gaming that is done, I mean, that is ultimately what Las Vegas is built up of, is going to the Flamingo and playing a game of blackjack which requires me to throw down a hundred dollar crisp clean bill gaming is just going to be increasing after this entire pandemic rolls over okay and people are going to start gaming that much more traveling that much more and therefore cash transactions are actually going to increase so if you guys have atms in those types of locations in those types of cities and states or surrounding areas expect your ATM transactions to skyrocket. And the reason gaming services don't actually take debit or credit card is because you can actually dispute a debit or credit card payment after you have played the game and won your thousand dollars, you dispute your 500 it took you, now you have your 1500. Where cash, you actually physically can't do that. So the gaming industry will never veer away from a cash transaction. Now, the third reason on why ATM business isn't actually going anywhere and why cash is here and it's going to continue is cash is actually cleaner. I know I see a lot of places and I'll share with you guys, you know, my history right now. I go to a gas station and they have this foam wrapped around this entire plastic ordeal where most people think that paper would then be dirtier than plastic, but however, that's actually not the case and stuff actually sticks to plastic more than it sticks to cash. I go to this gas station, I look at this pin pad, they don't take uh, cash, they literally put on their window, we do not accept cash, when however, cash is actually cleaner, but their pin pad that they have there, they haven't cleaned in three days, or two days, or yesterday, and there's already been 7,000 or 300 people that have already used that pin pad, that is disgusting. Cash is actually cleaner. Now, obviously, nobody wants to talk about how cash is actually cleaner than plastic. Therefore, you guys actually won't hear that around, but it is actually feasibly dirtier to touch those plastic buttons 
That is why I always click credit when I put in my debit card simply due to the fact that I don't want to press the pins. It is easier to transfer things via that because there's so little amount of surface and plastic holds more and gets harder and gets harder to clean rather than cash. So cash is actually cleaner. So you guys actually won't hear that anywhere else but here. So make sure and share this video with a friend. If you guys haven't already, make sure and smash the like up button as well because it certainly helps me and it helps the YouTube algorithm. The next reason is legislation. There's actually legislation actually happening and currently today saying that people actually have to accept cash. Now that just simply means that they are not going to be able to put that thing in their window that says we don't accept cash. So all of those businesses out there that you guys see saying that we're gonna be saying that we're gonna be going debit or credit only, uh, there actually is not uh, possible and that's what this is gonna get uh, passed for. This uh, law is gonna get passed for, this rule is gonna get passed simply due to the fact that you need a second form of payment. If you can't can't take a debit or credit card like I talked about in one of my previous videos, then you're gonna have to be accepting cash. Therefore, cash will always be a thing. And again, that also, also is a little bit of discrimination and discrimination to individuals that actually don't have bank accounts. Therefore, those customers that don't have bank accounts can't go into that person's store and actually pay for any of their goods or services because they don't have a debit or credit card. Where a, tr a cash transaction would allow that individual to walk in there, use the ATM if they needed to use the ATM or already have the ATM or already have the cash and use the cash as a form of their second payment. So with this whole legislation, there is going to be a huge push to keep cash an actual thing, keep cash in place, and it is absolutely necessary. So a form of payment, a second form of payment, rather than it being a debit or credit card, it is going to have to be cash. And the fifth reason on why the ATM business is not dead and why cash is not going anywhere, and that is a staggering 32 to 33% of individuals from the age of 25 to 34 actually prefer cash transactions than more than anything. Now I'll share with you guys my personal testimonial inside our ATM business. For those of you that don't know and have stayed to the, this part of the video, my partner and I actually own right around 100 ATM machines. And over the last month, since the beginning of May, we have seen an increase of about 28% increase in surcharge amounts every single day. Now the question on uh, is, is that why? And the reason why is because again, businesses are preferring cash transactions. Clients are preferring cash transactions. I would way rather hand you a 25 or 26, a 27, $28 or a $20 crisp clean bill rather than touch your keypad, slide my card. So I gotta clean my card because I don't know where the 100 other people that swiped their credit card has been. And then I gotta clean my hands right after because I have to clean what the keypad was touched by the other 300 individuals. Businesses are taking cash. They're realizing that it is a simpler, easier form of payment. It's easier to track. They can get seven Venmos, but they have no idea which clients that they came from or the cash apps or the Zelle payments. They can get the Apple Pays and they just go to their wallet and they got $700 in their Apple Pay or they can have $700 cash. And people that utilize cash actually treat it completely different than if they utilize Apple Pay or some form of mobile payment. Ladies and gentlemen, people are preferring cash, therefore ATMs are not gonna be going anywhere. The amount of transactions our portfolio has done is up 28%, which is an absolute staggering number because people right now need cash, they wanna pay with cash, and they want to have cash. I'm excited to see where this entire thing takes us, where this goes, but I truly believe that the ATM business will be around for another decade at a minimum. Now obviously in a decade, I could probably make a video on where we're at, so if you guys would like to see that, make sure and drop in the comment section below. Now, if you guys are still staying to this very end of this video here, make sure and smash the thumbs up button. And if you guys would, do me a favor. My partner and I actually started a a, a, &A show. It's called The a, a Show. And The a, a Show happens to be a place where we have a, a lot of entertainment, a lot of business, a lot of questions, individuals like Josh Snow, a, a lot of individuals like Caleb Maddox, a lot of individuals like at Joey on Instagram, a lot of high intellectual individuals, very powerful, very incredible, very intelligent, 
individuals that are absolutely murdering and crushing the game of business. Therefore, I need you guys to go check that out. So if you guys would, make sure and look at that in the link in the description below. Join our free ATM uh, business Facebook group. And Austin Lewis saying here, if you guys haven't already, make sure and smash the thumbs up button on this video again. We would certainly appreciate that. And again, if you guys haven't already, you guys are brand new here, make sure and subscribe because that would be greatly appreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, Austin Lewis here saying, we'll see you guys in some future videos.